Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder to a video where I am in a good mood because I just had fun, believe it or not. And once again, I'm in the EBR 1954, the new French premium reward light tank of the Operation Winter. Now, the first video that I made on it, I focused a bit more on its disadvantages rather than what you can do in it. And uh, the reason for that is because in the majority of cases, you know, you don't get maps like this, like Kuban or uh, where you can, uh, where you have room to maneuver. And also in this battle, I get killed by my wife. But at least she apologizes for it. <laughs> and that's a funny story. Um, no, anyway. So... The EBR, it is infamous in another title, another game, where it is really um, driving people to leave the game and, uh, and it degrades the gameplay. And at first, um, it, it also seems to do that in War Thunder, but it's just the typical event vehicle experience. People grind hard for it. They want to play it and also the best of the best players are spamming it out and so they are everywhere where you know you don't want to face them and also when we have a map like this Kuban that is not a city fight you can see that the tank actually can go to places and and can do its thing and play its strong card so here I see that there is an enemy T-34 uh, 57 he waits for me but thankfully the cave one is I'm not aware of me. I know that the T-34 wants to kill me, but we both struggled with our, our gun elevation and um, I just made use of the five second reload from that auto loader and we have some great AP pen and that is something that I neglected a bit to mention. The POT 51A has 182 millimeters of penetration. That is in the realms of a panther gun. Um, more or less a full battle rating lower. It's it's really strong and a five second autoloader Yes, it's quote-unquote only a solid shot, but again a thousand meters per second muscle velocity, which is also great and That means that th This tank has the potential to be overpowered, right? But if it is the firepower Why does the M4A1 FL10 not get spammed out yet another? French premium tank that everybody uh, could purchase and I presumably still can not quite sure and has the very same gun system with the same um, you know oscillating turret system but the fact that this is not the case because the War Thunder community has no problems in just throwing the wallet at Gaijin when something is therefore being purchased that is overpowered then you know it, it would we would see it more on the battlefield it's not a rare sight, but it's not really overpowered common anyway. So here, this is what I really love. To engage enemies from an unexpected position where I have the room to maneuver, to, you know, use the mobility of the vehicle, to just attack them from unexpected angles and, you know, get multiple kills. This is what I love, you know, using the strength of War Thunder. Getting the same city map three times in a row, that's just not what I like and very often that gets me in a bad mood and, and in a ranty, um, you know, monologue about what is also not going very well with War Thunder. Whoops. Strong gameplay, SM91, strong gameplay. <laughs> so, um, there you can see again the gun elevation being a problem, only 10 degrees. Oof, I, I'm, I'm the guy that mentions this when having a first proper look at a vehicle. Um, and to work around it is often not easy. Same with the mobility. And um, you know, first it was the gun elevation, now it's the gun depression. I focused here on the Sherman and I got surprised here and I kill him with the machine gun out of all the things but yeah I am immobilized I should have smoked up earlier I scout this guy but there is none of my teammates uh, near I overextended a little bit and this guy just disabled my gunner he comes up and he takes careful aim and then you know takes out my turret ring despite the gunner now being up this is now the final shot and out of all the players on the enemy team it had to be my wife I guess you noticed previously already in the 
in the chat. Um, there is a funny story behind it. Um, we met each other first time in naval battles. How romantic! In enduring confrontation, out of all things, and <laughs> you know the memes they just develop themselves. I don't want to go too deep into this topic, <clears throat> although some of you would love to hear the full story. But um, fun, fun is also important in War Thunder and. I think I need to stress this out quite literally, sorry for the pun, that don't let yourself consume by War Thunder. It has happened to me multiple times in the past and um, very often when I end up in, in a state where I am, for the lack of better words, burned out, where I have everything that everybody wants in War Thunder. I'm a content creator, I have enough golden eagles, enough silver lines, I have uh, access to the vehicles as fast as possible I, I get to play the latest shit and overpowered premiums whatsoever and all i need to do is to make uh, consistently make a uh, war thunder videos you know to to there is no real contract but you know they give me stuff i make videos both sides are happy except if <laughs> you know it's again uh, unfinished stuff um which sadly happens more and more in War Thunder, but that's a, again a different story. So, but sometimes you end up in this state where you just don't have fun playing the game, but then you feel like you need to make a video because there are, in my case, over 30,000 people waiting for it, uh, even more that just refuse to subscribe for whatever reason, but that's a different story again. And again, look at what I can do with this tank. I can I can just, uh, you know, zoom across green fields and I noticed that there is the uh, Sherman in a, a lockdown, basically. He gets locked down by a KV-2 virus and uh, let's, let's just vaccinate that KV-2, right? I noticed him uh, already before, I saw him briefly, uh, checked the right side and where is he? Just in a second, there we see the massive fridge launcher turret. We take aim, and yeah, that's the turret gun. Let's aim for the hull. He conveniently angles in, and that's beautiful shot. Kill number seven. How beautiful was that? And 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 this is what I love. I don't love. I I don't. I can't stand. You know, a city standoff around the corner and just that nonsense and getting the same map three times in a row. Uh, that's just not what War Thunder is capable of to roam the fields to use the room to fire and maneuver to reposition yourself to surround the enemies attack them from different angles unexpected angles helping out your teammates that's the stuff that I'm dreaming at night about this is the things that I want to do day in day out um, the, the, the stuff that really gets me in a bad mood is when the game denies me this, when the game just refuses to let me play uh, the stuff that I like for no apparent benefit. Um, but again, the EBR in that circumstances, it's fun and um, that sadly in my opinion doesn't happen often enough and that was just a beautiful penetration on a t3457 and the post penetration damage effect works you know all the things come together beautiful team beautiful map uh, beautiful gameplay in 4k if you haven't noticed if you have the ability um, to to view this in 4k let me know how this looks I'm always interested to see and even if you have quote-unquote only 1080p let me know in the comment section down below if the gameplay looks smoother to like a month ago or so. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the post battle results. And we got 10,000 RP and 86,000, 87,000 silver lines. It could have been more if I got the survivor, but you know, my wife denied me that. <laughs> So anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. Give it a subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the waves, in the skies, and on the battlefields of War Thunder.